This is the follow-up video to Which is False, where I asked you which of these two coins is the fake coin, A or B? Now, if you said B, you're absolutely right. Uh, the majority of you said B. It is, in fact, the fake coin. I know I didn't give you all the information you'd need to make a definite decision, but I'll show you why now. So if you look at coin A, a few things that give it away is genuine. Nice test cut there. You do get some test cuts on forgeries, but it's generally a good way of knowing that this coin was tested for its authenticity and antiquity. It's also a struck coin. You can see this lovely wavy edge, which shows that it was made by hand on this coin, and a number of you saw this. It has a clear casting seam, which shows that it was made in a mold. It also has nasty porous surfaces, which also show that it was made in a mold rather than being hand struck. And it has a false patina of some sort of paint that was added. But the real Achilles heel of this coin is if we put it on the scales. So if we take coin A and weigh it, we get a good heavy 17.1 grams, which is pretty good weight for a silver tetradram of the attic standard. But if we put this one on, and I, the reason I didn't do this yesterday was because it would have made it far too obvious, we get a weight that's less than half that of the previous coin. And that condemns this piece as a forgery.